Okay, so we're out doing a little bit more exploration today. Uh, we actually just staked this tenure today. And uh, we had an adjacent tenure to this before. So we're going to be checking out both of them today and uh, seeing what we can find. This claim heads in a direction like this. And we have this on the claim. And over here we have it going up like that. So um, this is basically the border and we're on this side is where our tenure is. So we're gonna check out this logging road first. Let's pull off some samples. We'll get some grab samples going from the logging road. You can see that just hordes of oxidization, mineralization and hordes over here. So, let's get to some sampling. So, your uh, rock type for this claim is basically the same for most of the claim. You have a chlorite altered uh, quartz feldspar with uh, rhyolite. And you have mineralization which is in stringers, um, mainly chalcopyrite. And then you have pods with uh, uh, massive chalcopyrite, pyrite, and magnetite. So what we have here is just disseminations of uh, chalcopyrite and pyrite throughout the rock and uh, a couple small little stringers. So we're gonna take a look at this area here and hammer away and see if we can find a decent sample. And, of course, you have your alterations of uh, schistose rock. Chloratic schist, looks like. So you can see the massive, massive amount of uh, oxidization all over your host rock here. So what it looks like is you have fractures all along here and if you hammer this away a bit you have uh, sulfides filling your fractures. Looks like primarily chalcopyrite. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with scouring this logging road on the um, eastern bank here and we're going to try and find uh, any grab samples so safety first these rocks tend to fly so you have pyrite here very oxidized so what we're looking for on this property is gold, silver, copper, lead, and zinc um, as your minerals for extraction. Okay, so what we're doing is we're going to go and uh, search about 100, 200 meters of outcrop. Um, and then we're going to maybe send a sample in for analysis but right now what we're doing is we're just cataloging a bunch uh, for future testing so here is the first sample we pulled out just a random grab sample from the road you have uh, massive deteriorated iron pyrite amongst schists chloratic schists is what it looks like Nothing too spectacular looking. So let's catalog this sample. Keep going. Spot there with oxidization and uh, some slough samples here. So it looks like you got some uh, magnetite and maybe some hematite uh, with a little bit of quartz. Got a few samples right here. These are, uh, this is a heavy sample right here. 
So we're going to take uh, these as the next sample catalogs. More magnetite, hematite. Looks like there's a bit of quartz in there. This will be our next catalog sample. Okay, so here's the next sample. You have almost solid mineral in contact with chloratic schists. And uh, you have little bits of quartz in your matrix of iron pyrite and calcopyrite. So this will be the next sample we catalog. Next sample we broke open here, disseminated mineral throughout schists. So you got a bit right there. Definitely not massive or anything. But we'll take a little piece off this. Catalog it. I'd say there's about 40% uh, of the rock, 50% maybe has mineral. Catalog this one. Okay, so we got our next sample here. All uh, one grab sample from a same rock. Got a decent amount of pyrite mineralization. So this piece right here is solid mineral. We're going to catalog this. More mineral amongst schists. These ones are found as disseminations. Pretty much your entire host rock is similar to this. And then you have your sulfide veins, pods of uh, calcopyrite, Magnetite, hematite. So this will be catalogued again. Next sample. Fairly massive amounts of pyrite mineralization. all throughout another catalog sample all right so we got our last sample here for this hundred meter stretch of logging road and outcrop again massive pyrite in chloratic schists heavily oxidized So, that's all we have time for in this video. Uh, we're going to continue on on our one of our older claims and go remove stuff off of showing, and we'll probably video some of that, so stay tuned for that. And we'll see you guys in the next video.